When we look at cooling and transferring of heat out of the interior of the Earth, we see convection of the mantle, the overturning of the mantle, as being the simple pot boiling, that if you make porridge, you can tell that if you just look at the pot and it, the heat, the heat that goes into it makes it less dense, so it rises, and then when it cools, it becomes more dense, so it, it sinks. The idea is that the outflow of heat is, comes in the plumes, and then we take stuff back down, and so we have this rotational thing, and you can imagine that as it gets down deep again. But the biggest player of taking the convection back are the slabs that are returned. So that once we made some oceanic crust, and once we started subducting them, that's the return of material back into the Earth. It's very cool. In fact, as it enters the Earth, it's pretty much room temperature. So that we're taking room temperature stuff and putting it down there where it's 2,000 degrees. So obviously, it gets turned into other minerals. So as the slab goes down, it's returning back down. And as it comes down, it's metamorphosing to different crystalline stuff. So that what we start with at the top, which is basalt and sediments, is nothing like what we have as we get down there. Right? So that's amazing because we're simply transforming it into different phases. Interestingly, as the slab goes down, when it gets to a certain depth, it will, be, it will contain hydrous minerals, like chloride. At a certain depth, that chloride is no longer stable, and it loses its water. That water goes into the mantle above the slab and causes the mantle to melt. That melt then produces a magma which can rise up, fractionate, crystallize, and form granitic rocks and volcanoes. So at that point where we dissolve the water, always produces magma, and that magma is so buoyant that it goes straight up. So that that point is what we call a volcanic arc. And every subduction zone has a magmatic arc. So Japan would be a good example of a magmatic arc, as well as the Andes as well as Indonesia, a whole bunch of volcanoes, and that is taking, taking heat out of the Earth. And it's doing it continuously. The other place we're doing it is at the mid-ocean ridges. This is a great place to get heat out, and that's a big part of the convection. Okay, we've got the plumes, we've got the subduction zones where we've got magmas coming out, but more importantly, the most shallow place where the mantle comes up and it melts because it's decompressing, is the mid-ocean ridges. So it's like a stitch all the way up the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, all the way up the middle of the Pacific Ocean. There's one between us and Antarctica, which left about 100 million years ago. It used to be attached to us. But as it comes up, it spreads, and we make basalt. And the basalt very slowly heads out. That's a reflection of the fact that we are convecting the mantle. 